Hello, welcome to Breaking It All Down. I'm Count Zero. This week, I've got a news commentary for you, covering a, well, a recent event involving another company which I've talked about previously, Blizzard. When I last discussed Blizzard, we had basically learned that Diablo 3 was going to require you to be online all the time. And now, even though um, occurrence happened, it's less policy related that is more public relations related, which needs to be discussed. And this relates to the recent BlizzCon and events there, which basically, in short, Activision Blizzard, or specifically Blizzard, done fucked up. Here's what happened. At BlizzCon, among various things they had planned towards the end of the show in relation to a musical concert is they had an appearance by the, I believe, lead singer of the band Cannibal Corpse, whose stage name is Corpse Grinder. I don't know the guy's real name. And to be honest, I'm probably getting wrong whoever, whoever he is in Cannibal Corpse because that's not the type of metal I listen to. Um, anyway... Corpse Grinder did a sort of rant, humorous monologue slash rant thing, which can, which was very pro horde and very anti alliance. And in the course of this, Corpse Grinder used several racial slurs. Not, ra- not sorry, not racial. If it were racial slurs, it'd be simpler. But no, he used several homophobic slurs. Um. This led to controversy, particularly since this was streamed live on the internet in addition to people being live in attendance. People were justifiably upset by this. This is a person introduced by a Blizzard employee at a Blizzard venue using hate speech. If this was again, if this was actually a racial slur, the guy's mic probably would have been cut and this would have dealt with that in a heartbeat. But no. So People were just probably upset at this, and there were complaints on the forums for World of Warcraft. Unfortunately, Blizzard didn't quite get what they got wrong. In two responses to the complaints about the homophobic language, Blizzard basically response was, We're sorry they badmouthed the Alliance. For the first one, and the second one was practically a we're sorry you're offended by his remarks, which is a non-apology apology. Now, this is not the first problem that Blizzard has had with the GLBT community, the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender community. Previously, they changed the naming policy for guilds to prevent basically GLBT friendly groups from stating in the name of the groups that they are friendly to GLBT people. And then there's this. Now, I'm willing to write this off as a coincidence to reference uh, Bond film, Goldfinger. Once is accident, twice is coincidence. However, three times is enemy action. You've used up your shots, Blizzard. It is stupid of you to miss the point here. The guy said, well, obvious homophobic slurs, like faggot on stage. It's not like the meaning of these words is well not it, it, it is Obscure. He also used the phrase cocksucker. It's not like, I mean, okay, maybe if the guy's British, say, he said faggot, oh, maybe he means a cigarette. It's unlikely for you to think this because you're an American company, but I could see you trying to mentally do some gymnastics to justify this. But, come on. What are you thinking? What the fuck are you thinking, Blizzard? I can understand you wanting to bring a big-name metal musician 
on stage talk about how much he likes World of Warcraft. I can understand wanting any celebrity on stage. But this was a mistake. Your, your current response to the criticism, the extremely justified criticism over the homophobic language used at your premier gaming event at BlizzCon is a mistake. The correct response you should be using right now is the correct thing is, well, I'm sorry that, that hateful language was used. We won't be inviting this guy back. If you lose Corpse Binder's subscription money, big whoop. He pays the same amount as everyone else. And you know what? If people unsubscribe because you apologize to the gay community, fine. You've raised the level of discourse in your game. You've decreased the amount of homophobic speech that's in the chat channel. You've made the place more friendly for the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender community and their allies. That's a good thing. You want that. It's not, I mean, if someone tried to do an overt, you know, Ku Klux Klan reference, you'd kick them out in a heartbeat. If someone was, I would hope that you, if someone was being overtly racist, like real world racist in there, I would hope that you'd kick people out or, for doing this. In fact, what I should, pro fact, what I should be doing right now, and I'll is, yeah, let's just go check the terms of service, shall we? Because if your forum is like every other forum on the internet, then your terms of service will say no homophobic speech, basically. Alright, here we go. Terms of use. World of Warcraft terms of use. La da 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 da. Code of conduct. That's guild. Rules related to chat and interaction of other users. We have on here of things that you cannot do: harass, threaten, stalk, embarrass, cause or cause distress, unwanted detention, or discomfort to any user of the game. I'm pretty sure that using homophobic speech would cons be considered something that would cause distress, particularly to the users of the game who are gay, lesbian, transgender, or bisexual. That's pretty much a given. So, there's that. And let's see, that's, that's for WoW. Is there something similar for the... Um, da, 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 for Battle.net? Let's see what we got. For what you can and cannot do. Well, I'm not actually not seeing any conduct rules for Battle.net. Which is rather... I'm not going to say that's telling, but that's actually rather notable. Most places have rules on here to the effect of if you... Break... If forbidding hate speech and that sort of thing. So, let's create an account. Terms of use. So, in short, it is to note that Battle.net does not have rules against hate speech, but, well, WoW does, or at least rules that effectively are against hate speech. So, a little bit of live, fascinating web browsing there, but my point still stands. By basically 
not taking action against what Corpse Grinder did, and by not basically apologizing and trying to make right what Corpse Grinder did, they're kind of breaking their own rules. There's a large number of homophobic of well, there are, there are homophobic users on WoW, and there are gay people who use WoW. Not everyone on who uses WoW is homophobic, but the stuff comes up in chat. I have friends who have told me as such. I have seen video where it's just shown as such. It's not unheard of for this to, for this to happen. So, frankly, if WoW if WoW is to be a welcoming place for new users, I realize that there are old guard who'd rather that new users not show up, but if you're going to build a community, you need to have your community be accepting to new people, and accepting to people you already have. This includes the gay community, and as the rights available to gay people expands, you need to pay attention to this and make note of this, and, you know, be accepting, and basically prevent work against hate speech and to try and keep it from being spread. I mean, frankly, I mean, Battle.net, WoW, and even for that matter, BlizzCon, yes, the United States, yes, you have a First Amendment, First Amendment right to express yourself, but First Amendment only affects the government. If Blizzard was willing to put his foot down, grow a spine, and say, oh, you know, by using these words, by using this language, by using, by using hate speech, you are offending and alienating, alienating members of our community, then, frankly, they should be drawing the correct conclusion of these people need to go. Our moderators, our game masters in the game, should be keeping an eye out for this, and people use this language, they get kicked. If you use this language at our convention, particularly if you're an invited guest and you're giving a speech on stage, after being introduced by a member of the Blizzard staff, and a Blizzard employee, a significant Blizzard employee, if you use this kind of terminology afterwards, we'll cut your mic. We'll kick you out. And we won't invite you back. And we don't care if we humiliated you in front of all the people watching at the convention and all the people watching online. The millions and millions of of World of Warcraft fans watching online, if you're a jackass, if you're an asshole, if you're a bigot, in the interest of having a you know community that people want to join and to reserve your install base, these people gotta go. Otherwise, this becomes a matter of, well, I mean, Either they go, the bigots go, or you start driving away GLBT users and their allies. And admittedly, yes, they are a minority. Societarily, they are a minority. But this all doesn't make you look good. It's douchey. Any company will want the most, with half a brain, wants the most people using their products and the most people giving them money as possible. And in this case, this means, well, you want the GLBT people. You want their allies. And frankly, the degree of people who are being vocally homophobic, I mean, even if they do outnumber the gay users, if you put your foot down, they'll get the hint and stop being, and at least if they're going to be bigoted, they'll stop being bigoted and wow, they'll do it somewhere else. You at least freaking try and move it elsewhere off of your services. But that's basically all I got to say right now. Again, sorry for not editing this. I still haven't gotten my editing software yet. Once I get my editing software, I'll try to get a good, proper, real review together. But that's going to be in the future. Um, also, I have recently, just just after I got my job, I've and, and talked about getting my job. 
I lost my job. So, we'll have to see about what happens with video capture stuff. I'll try to figure something out, but that may be a bit. I may still be using other people's Let's Plays for a while. If I am, you'll see in the credits, and I'll make sure to link to the appropriate people and get permission and so forth first. And, but anyway, until next time, I'm Count Zero, and thanks for watching.